Hey guys, thank you all for tuning into Chris Codes. My name is Crystal and we're back at it again with another video. So this video is going to be a cute little topic. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button because you know you want to and it's free. Notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop new content. Comment, subscribe, and yeah, stay tuned. Let's get right into the video. All right, you guys. So this video is going to be juicy. Now, um, this is more, I feel like, a makeup and a message Monday type of video. Because I don't really deem this foolishness because I think this is a very interesting topic. But I didn't want to wait till Monday. So it's going to be a foolishness Friday today. So it's this viral clip. And then we're going to really dive deep and talk about it. Because mm, when I was listening, I was just like... Ugh. And so much I got to say about this. So I'm really, really excited for this topic. I'm going to go ahead and play the clip and then we'll get right into it. So what ass are and that's household. called providing. And I want to make sure that y'all understand that men provide in more than just a financial way. And that's my problem because if I sit here and ask, okay, cool. If I pay every bill in this house, right, and I fix everything in this house because I'm an electrician, what are you what are you bringing to the table as a woman? What do you realistically do other than have sex? Oh, you 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 asking me? I, I'm asking you. Like, okay, personally. so are you asking her that as a woman no, no, that makes no, no, more? No. If I make, I'm just I'm asking. You know, what, are you, what are you bring? Actually. And I'm Every gonna, lady here, I want to know, what are you bringing to the table for the man that takes care of you? Here, here, here we go. And take notes. So <laughs> what I do is I make that house that you pay for, that you pay that mortgage for, I make it at home. I cook the meals. I'm washing clothes. That's $100 a week. I, don't play with me. I, I cook, can get it made. No, 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 no. You see, that, and you see, that's where you're going wrong. It costs more than $100 a week to have somebody cook for you, to have somebody clean up after you. Because a lot of times, you men become our children. All right, we dress y'all, we pick out y'all clothes, we cook for y'all, we wash y'all's clothes, we clean up behind y'all. When y'all leave your little, uh, little, little piece Aaron, on, on the floor. Aaron, that's what you, you're a good woman, and that's what you do, but let's be clear here. It's a lot of- We're I, talking listen, about I, me. Listen, I own a barbershop. I We're talking about I, me. No, I got you, but you saying we, speak for yourself. Because I work in a barbershop, right? I own my own shop. The men complain that they, it started off that way, but then they start slacking. They don't do what the, the, they don't keep up with that same type of energy. And, but they expect the man to keep that same energy of pro, continue on providing in that aspect. So you, I'm hearing the complaints. So you can speak for yourself, but a lot of women say, I don't want to cook. But I they keep want saying you to provide, that. But they they don't can't cook. cook. I keep saying that. We talking about Aaron Campbell. Okay. About so Aaron Campbell. We. So don't say we then. Yeah. Okay. Well, let, let's, let's backtrack. I make a house a home. Okay. All the furniture you get to come home and, and lay up on, I pick that shit out. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 when the paper towels go 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 away in the bathroom, you know who goes to the store to get them? You know who gets on Amazon to get that? All the shit that you don't even think about that makes your life easier, I do that. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me ask you a question, right? Everything that you're telling me can be bought. Guess what? I can have an assistant order me paper towels and toilet paper and groceries on Amazon. Actually, I get Whole Foods delivered to my house weekly. It's a subscription. I get meal preps every week. My meal preps is $120 and I get three meals a day. I make myself my own breakfast. That's four square meals. I have another cleaning lady. She charges me $100 a week to come clean. You are only saving me $600. Uh, in a nutshell, maybe you six to eight hundred dollars. But what I'm saying, maybe I live in a five thousand square foot regardless, home. Regardless, I'm, I'm saying managing your that services home. are can be paid for. So what are you bringing outside? Of, listen, if you ask a man, what is he bringing to the table? I'm bringing a house to the table that I I'm can also a, pay for yeah. myself. Okay, but you're not. That I, but I can. But you're not. But I can. But you're not, and you're not willing to. I That's am the willing point. to. I was taking care of myself before I was married. And then you got Maybe married and stopped house. taking I care of yourself. I have multiple mortgages. I still take care of shit. That's the That's, thing. Listen, I'm not saying you can't make money. What I'm saying is what you're bringing... What you're bringing to this table is a service that can be paid for versus what a man has to bring into the table for your life. You can't buy somebody to buy you a home. I could buy somebody to cook and clean for my house. I can't buy a person to come give me a house, give me a car, take care of me, and make sure all my bills but are I in the house. But I can still do that. That's what I'm not saying that you can't. I'm saying that you're not. 
So, I'm assuming you all have just seen um, the clip and it's basically what women bring to the table. You guys, when I first watched this clip, I was like, kind of rolling my eyes a bit, but I got, I understood where um, Rico was coming from, but he's coming at it from a wrong um, angle. He was giving me, I've been hurt, you know? <laughs> he was giving me, you know, um, I've been cheated on, you know, something in that nature because he wasn't understanding, you know, what women were good for, you know, those guys that like, you know, all, all women are good for is, you know, lying on their back, you know, those type of men are men that if like, I'll, I'm not going to take it from him. He's attractive. So I'm sure he doesn't have to like pay for you know what I'm saying? But that's what he's giving. You know, I can I can buy that. <laughs> you know, I, I can buy that. You, you're not worth my time. And I was kind of, I was a bit disgusted. I will say that. But let me tell you why he's wrong. Okay? I get the whole um, cooking, cleaning. I can pay somebody to do that. But when you find a wife, you find a good thing. You know, you can't, you can't buy loyalty. You can't buy somebody that's going to have your back no matter what. You know, if you've been in a relationship with a woman that really loves you, you know what she brings to the table. And for you to just even be like, oh, you know, what you bring to the table, that's a guy. If a guy was to ask me that on the first date, I'd be done you know like I let's just stop it right here okay boy if you don't get, get check please <laughs> it's like where do you where did you come from okay <laughs> where did you come from you gonna pay somebody to have your babies too you gonna pay somebody to raise your kids? Certain things that women provide, like, just go so unnoticed. What do you think Mother's Day is for? And I get it. Like, providing, I'm sure it's difficult. You know what I mean? Like, feeling like, oh, you know, I gotta make sure all the bills are paid. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. But nowadays, a lot of guys don't, they don't wanna do that. Nowadays, a lot of guys, they don't wanna provide. They feel like, you know, a lot of guys just be chilling, doing whatever they want to do, or they feel like they shouldn't have to pay all the bills. It should be 50 50 or so on and so forth. I'm like, look, that may have they that may rock for some women or whatever. But to be completely honest, regardless of how much I'm paying or how much I'm making, I do expect you to provide men are supposed to be providers. Where if you feel like that's not fair, be alone, you know, be alone or find, find a woman that's going to be okay with you living off her, <laughs> you know, I'm sure she's out there, <laughs> someone just for you, but I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. Now, am I going to be bleeding you dry or anything like that or being super materialistic? No, but I, I do, I do expect you to provide because I can do bad all by myself and in just the way I've you know been in relationships or what I've done in relationships I'm always gonna push you to do better I'm gonna push you to go above and beyond I'm gonna be that person in the corner or that person on the side feeding you you know i'm going to be feeding you knowledge you know I'm, I'm i'm going to be that person that's motivating you to do better to grow the person that you're confi confiding in spitting ideas bouncing ideas back off of each other you know like um that speech with um kevin durant and he was talking about telling his mom you're the real mvp yeah. When, you, when something good happens to you, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to look back to what brought me here. And you wake me up in the middle of the night in the summer times, making me run up a hill, making me do push-ups, 
screaming at me from the sideline of my games at eight or nine years old. We wasn't supposed to be here. You made us believe. You kept us off the street. You put clothes on our backs, food on the table. When you didn't eat, you made sure we ate. You went to sleep hungry. You sacrificed for us. You the real MVP. You know, you can't you can't buy that. You can't buy that. You can't buy that type of love. You can't buy that type of support. You can't buy that type of loyalty. And if you think you do, you're sadly you if you think you can, you're sadly mistaken. If you think a wife is just a hot meal and a quickie, you're sadly mistaken. So that's why when he was talking like that, I was like, you haven't had a good thing. <laughs> you know, you, you haven't had a woman that was really worth anything. And I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. But if you, if you met women built like me or the, the women that I know or my, like people like my mother and stuff like that, they've raised women like me, you know, that bring more to the table than just that. And if I have to tell you what I bring to the table, then I, we're wasting each other's time. That's what dating's for. I I shouldn't have to hand you my resume. Who are you? <coughs> Who are you? Are you going to tell me when you first meet me that I'm going to buy you a house? I'm going to give you a ring. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. No. That's what dating's for. You date. You fill each other out. You ask each other questions. You see, you, you'll see that gradually. Oh, I can tell by the way she deals with her family that she's loyal and she's loving and she'll give the shirt off her back. I can tell by the way she's with if she had if she has kids by the way she's with her children that she'll raise a great child for me. I can tell that she's with how she is with her niece and nephews. Same thing. It's the same thing. I can tell by the way she saves or the, the way she does money management that our finances will be intact. Cuz a lot of guys pay bills but they don't manage money well. They'll make the bacon, make the bread, but give it to the wife to manage the money. So you're talking, but you're talking simple-minded. It's the big picture. You feel me? The big picture. So women like me, we don't have to. So that's the only thing that, like, because I was feeling what the lady was saying. You know, I don't, I don't down her or any, anything like that. But... I wouldn't even respond to that. I don't have to tell you what I bring to the table, okay? You come to the table and you'll you'll see you'll see my fruit, okay? <laughs> you see my fruit. You will know them by their fruit. I say that in every in every video. You you don't have to tell anybody nothing. Watch me work. Okay? Watch Watch me work, okay? <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm not try like, I'm not trying to like go in on the dude or anything like that. But when he was saying that, it's like, wow, that's what you think a wife is? That's what you think a wife is? We're a helpmate. That's why when God says, when you find a wife, you find a good thing, you find favor. You level up. But when you're in relationships with people that, you know, aren't that great, you're burning money. You, it's like they're burning a hole in your pocket. But that's why you haven't found a wife. So that's why you think all she's good for is cooking, cleaning, and, you know, you know, you know. My kitty is like, what the heck is she yeah. talking <laughs> You know, we're going to make this video quick and... I really just really I really wanted to talk about this topic because when I watched this clip, I was like, no, he didn't just say we're good for cooking, cleaning and a good time. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa there. OK, I just really had to come on here and talk about it. You know, I had to talk about it. Now, you got you all. I have um, a few things. So. I'm in that right there, you know, because this isn't this isn't Monday, so I don't have to put a message to it. You heard what I said. I said what I said. I said what I said. 
I don't hate okay. it. <laughs> but I'm going to have some new things dropping on the site. Some watches in a few different colors. Some bracelets. You all can get a, a sneak peek. So let me go grab them and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back. Now we got watches coming in. They're going to be on the site very, very soon. I'd, I'd say give me like a week or whatever. I've been real busy. We got a whole lot of new uh, merch coming in. So be stay tuned for that, okay? Be ready. But we have these watches coming on the site soon. And I have this in several different colors. Okay, so that's black. But we have it in blue, white, okay taupe like a tan color well oh. yes and also we have bracelets coming to the site as well individually packed okay See that there but we got watches and bracelets coming to the site so stay tuned they will be there soon you could double up okay So yes, you guys, thank you all for tuning in again to Chris Coes. I love you guys. And I'll be back with more videos, of course. You all will see me Monday because we're going to get back on it. I say this every week, but I'm so serious this time. But thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button because you know you want to. And it's free. Notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop new content. Comment, subscribe, and yeah. See you off in the next video. Bye.